breaking news for victims and survivors of the deadliest mass shooting in modern U.S. history, a massive settlement with MGM Resorts. Welcome to CBS 2 News at 11 and streaming on CBS NLA. I'm Suzanne Marquez. I'm Sarah Donchi in for DeMarco Morgan. MGM says it will pay as much as $800 million to resolve the lawsuits that stemmed from this shooting. CBS News' Amy Johnson is live in our satellite center with details. Amy? Well, Suzanne and Sarah, it was just over two years ago. A gunman opened fire from his room in the Mandalay Bay, killing 58 people and injuring hundreds of others. Now, Mandalay's owner, MGM, has announced the huge financial settlement will run anywhere between $735 and $800 million. Now, it was two years ago Tuesday that Stephen Paddock amassed an arsenal of weapons in his 32nd floor suite at the Mandalay Bay, he opened fire on the crowd at the Route 91 Harvest Festival, an outdoor music concert. He then killed himself. The FBI found he acted alone, but the plaintiffs in the lawsuit argued MGM didn't adequately protect the concert goers. It's still unclear how much each participant in the settlement will get. It will depend on how many people take part. The settlement is something that MGM and we hoped to accomplish for quite some time. MGM believes and has believed from the beginning and we agree that prolonged litigation around these matters is in no one's best interest. Yeah, in a statement, the MGM CEO said our goal has always been to resolve these matters so our community, the victims and their families can move forward in the healing process. It's estimated that as many as 4,200 people could ask to be part of the settlement, which is the third largest in U.S. history.